Now on percussions, let's listen to this following drum room recording. Wow, I really don't like this one. I can't even say what's going wrong. It just feels weird. But first thing first, let's try suppressing it. As you can hear, it was mainly the high frequency that was getting suppressed. That is, the initial brightness of the snare hits are being suppressed, uh, which indeed make the snare sound more tight. We can solo out the processing. You can hear what's being suppressed are mainly those t t t of the snare hits. Inspired by this, now I only want to process the snare brightness without messing around with any lower frequencies. There are two ways to achieve this. First, adjusting the priority curve. We can create a high shelf to prioritize the high frequencies, making them more likely to be processed than the lower ones. We may need to move up the threshold accordingly. As you can see, it's almost only high frequencies that are being suppressed. The second way is to adjust the slope knob. The slope knob controls the tilt of the spectrum display. We can play around with this knob and see how the spectrum display changes accordingly. As you have seen, the spectrum display has changed from tilting to the right to tilting to the left. A slope of 4.5 dB means that, from lower to higher frequencies, every higher octave on the spectrum will get increased by 4.5 dB. It is quite a common slope in mixing, because generally, since generally, high frequencies has less presence than low frequencies. By adjusting the slope knob, we can make sure both the high and low frequencies get the same chance of being processed. However, for drums and for this particular track, 4.5 may not be enough, as I just want to process the high frequencies. We can turn it up, making the high frequencies super prominent. As you can see, the current spectrum is super tilted to the left. We can even go for the extreme and see what happens. In this way, almost all the processing happens in high frequencies. Right-clicking on the slope knob, you can choose from four very useful presets. Three decibel, suitable for mix boxes. 4.5 for individual instruments. Six and nine are commonly used as well. For our purposes, we can also choose a three decibel slope, that is, treating drum room as a sort of mix bus. They are indeed quite similar. And then we can use different strategy to achieve the same processing. As you can see, on the three decibel slope, the spectrum displayed almost flat. Now let's lower down the threshold. As you can hear, the fundamental frequencies of kick and snare was being more heavily suppressed. As I want to process the higher frequencies, not the lower ones, I can use the priority curve to prioritize the higher frequencies and kind of dismiss the lower frequencies. Now the drum is really tightened up, but some frequency bands feels overly processed. In this case, we can turn up the formant compensation. 
With form and compensation, the mid frequencies feels more lively. I will leave the treble compensation closed as I already want to suppress the high frequencies. I also close dynamics compensation because I'm going for a tightened room sound, so the compressed feel is actually desirable.